As it happens with web development in general, you don't want to build your application from scratch just using Python. You want to leverage a web framework that can cut your development time, especially with the low-level stuff like parsing the request, building templates, routing, and communicating with your data store. But unfortunately, you can't just use Flask, Diango, or other synchronous frameworks with asynchronous code. All the input-output operations would completely block your thread, and it would be a complete waste of time. So for the synchronous capabilities of Python, there have been some frameworks that have appeared on the scene that will allow you to leverage the power of Asyncio with the tooling around web operations. However, most of them are implemented in their own unique way, which is not a huge deal if you're just learning web development, but it's a drag if you already know your way around an existing framework. Which brings us to Quart. This wonderful new project has built most of the existing Flask API and converted it to asynchronous operations, allowing us to develop using the Flask libraries we already know and lets us focus on implementing the asynchronous part. So let's go over the pros of using Quart as an asynchronous choice for our web development. First, like I just mentioned, you don't have to relearn anything related to the setup of your application. You have the same basic tooling, including blueprints and Jinja templating. Second, using Quart actually makes your application much more efficient and scalable than its Flask version because of the asynchronous benefits we've discussed earlier. Third, Quart is actively being developed and interest in the framework is slowly growing and gaining acceptance. Of course, nothing in life is perfect and using Quart is no exception. Here are some cons of using Quart. First, finding help when you're stuck in tools like Google and Stack Overflow is very hard since it's still a relative newcomer and the fact is that most Python developers are not using Async.io yet. Second, a very limited number of extensions are supported. You can find a list of the supported extensions in the URL below. And as you can see, a lot of the popular ones are not in that list. According to the core documentation, you can use extensions that are not in that list using a function called Flask Patch, but in order for them to work, Flask extensions must use the global request proxy variable to access the request. Any other access, e.g. via get current object, will require asynchronous access. The documentation also says the Flask extension must be limited to creating routes, using the request, and rendering templates. Any other more advanced functionality may not work. So using existing Flask extensions will be very limited, and you will need to do heavy testing before intending to use them with Quart. The way I approach this issue is to really understand what am I trying to accomplish by using this extension. And sometimes you might need to either do your own version of the extension or better yet, contribute a version of it that works with Quart. In the coming lessons, we'll be tackling some of these issues so that you can see how I go about this limitation. And with that, let's go ahead and install Quart.